What's going on guys? This is Eric again with Olympic Health Physics and today we're going to be talking about the duties and responsibilities of the radiation safety officer. Okay, so who is the radiation safety officer? What is a radiation safety officer? Radiation safety officer, officer or RSO, um, is going to be the person who is responsible for overseeing and implementing the radiation safety program. They are gonna be the ones that are going to be responsible for ensuring the facility is compliant with all of the regulations and, uh, and overseeing that radiation safety program. So we're gonna go through some of the, the uh, typical duties and responsibilities of the radiation safety officer. So number one, the radiation safety officer has stop work authority. What does that mean? It means that the radiation safety officer has the ability to stop any work involving radioactive materials. Um, this is usually spelled out in what's called a delegation of authority that comes from the facilities administration and is signed by facility administration as well as the radiation safety officer. Stop work authority is usually used whenever there are unsafe work practices and something needs to be fixed or changed before the work can continue. The radiation safety officer also has a responsibility to ensure that uh, doses are kept ALARA. ALARA is an acronym that stands for as low as reasonably achievable. So the radiation safety officer is responsible for ALARA and implementing an ALARA program. They also oversee all radioactive materials uses, including monitoring and surveying of all areas where radioactive materials are either used or stored. They're also responsible for drafting and implementing policies and procedures that deal specifically with security of radioactive material, emergency procedures, and operations uh, in employing radioactive materials. RSOs typically conduct training for radioactive materials workers. So they're gonna be providing training in the use and uh, safety of radioactive materials. The RSO is also going to be responsible for transportation and delivery of radioactive materials to make sure that packages are checked in the way that they should be, that there are uh, surveys of packages and all of that is documented and that possession limits are also adhered to. Uh, the possession limits are going to be spelled out in the radioactive materials license. So the radiation safety officer will be responsible for making sure that the facility doesn't exceed radioactive material possession limits. The RSO is also going to oversee and potentially implement the dosimetry program. Dosimetry uh, is just how we measure or monitor radiation doses, occupational radiation exposure for staff. And so the RSO is going to oversee that program as well. Security of radioactive material is also going to fall under the uh, jurisdiction of the radiation safety officer to make sure that any radioactive material is going to be secured from unauthorized removal. This is typically done in, in one of two ways. Um, either the radioactive material is gonna be under lock and key of some sort, or it can also be under constant surveillance. So the radiation safety officer will be responsible for making sure that radioactive materials are secured in one of those two ways. Documentation. Documentation is a, a really big uh, topic because anytime that we're dealing with radioactive materials we have to document most of the processes that go with them that includes uh, surveys it's going to include inventory receipt disposal waste all of those activities should be documented they're also going to serve as a liaison with regulators and report any medical events or anything that's out of the, that's a reportable event, report those either to the state if they're an agreement state or to the NRC if they're not in an agreement state. In addition to that, they'll manage the radioactive materials license, which would include uh, implementing any license conditions within the radioactive materials license, as well as submitting any amendments to uh, the regulatory agency for changes to the license. Amendments are typically going to be for things like changing an authorized user, changing the radiation safety officer, changing the address of the facility or name of the facility, changing the proposed uses or the locations of those uses. All are typical things that we would see amendments being submitted for. And lastly, the RSO will implement any corrective actions for deficiencies or inefficiencies that are found 
in a radiation protection program audit or external inspection conducted by a regulatory agency. So this gives you a pretty high level overview of the duties and responsibilities of the radiation safety officer. The RSO may have more duties than what we've listed through here. So that's usually gonna be up to the organization on uh, what those responsibilities and duties will be for the RSO, but this will give you a pretty good place to start or what the expectation should be for, uh, for a radiation safety officer. Questions and comments about RSOs or RSO duties, feel free to shoot them over to us. We'll be happy to respond to any questions or comments that you have uh, around radiation safety officers and be a resource for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe to these videos, and we will see you next time.